Here's another lumber imperfection that uh, stair builders deal with on a regular basis. Now, something like this isn't going to affect um, stair stringers that go up against a wall um, that would be enclosed or in the center um, of a notched stairway, but it would be a problem if they were going to be on the outside of the stairway. For bracket stairs, let's say you're going to use angle brackets, and then this would be the outside or the inside of your staircase um, stringers, and you're going to paint it, let's say. Well, you're, you can imagine the gap you're going to have with the treads um, if you flip this board in either direction. So um, look at the lumber before you use it and, which, and make sure that it's going to be acceptable for what you're actually going to use it for. And again, this piece of lumber wasn't like this when I bought it. I bought the couple of boards. I'm using them for a stair book that I was writing, Simplified Stair Building. Check it out. It's a great book, especially if you guys are planning on building a set of stairs and you're looking for some info. Okay, enough. Plug in the book there. Um, two weeks, this is what happened. So don't be surprised if you build a stairway and everything looks great and you're really proud of yourself and you go out there a few weeks later and you've got a couple of bows or twists in it. That stuff happens. If that's the case and you can replace it, you know, a couple of treads, something like that, um, easily go ahead. If not, um, you know, if they get bad, you're going to have to replace them anyway. You know, but don't, you know, you could go buy another piece of lumber that looks great and end up with the same problem eventually anyway. So it's kind of a lose-lose situation sometimes. Uh, but anyway, just wanted to provide you guys with um, some information about lumber here and, and a few tips on things you can and cannot do with this particular type of lumber defect.